Hello everyone, I'm Saket Bansal and today I'm exploring Safe Scrum Master program. Our goal is to help you to know the program before you really do it. And today I am joined by Pulasti, who is a Safe SSM trainer. He's a Safe SPC, he trains many product of Safe. Uh, before we talk about Safe SSM program, why not we have a quick introduction of Pulasti. So Pulasti, give you a quick introduction. Sure, thanks Saket. Uh, and thanks for making this happen, appreciate it. Uh, again, I'm Pulasti, Pulasti Chaudhary. Um, I, uh, I'm a software engineering professional uh, with over uh, 20 years of experience in, in various aspects of software engineering. Uh, currently, I'm working as, as, a, as a senior program manager in um, helping uh, several teams in technology modernization in a financial services company. Uh, but as Saket said, I also am an agile coach and trainer uh, specializing in, in, in scale um, framework and currently focusing on Scrum Master and DevOps. Uh, so that's my, that's my uh, quick. I, yeah, thank you. And, and Pulasti uh, like was taking quite frequently the patches related to safe SSM and DevOps. Now, what is your experience? Today, we want to talk about SSM only. What is your experience sure. teaching safe SSM class? Yeah, no, this is a, uh, uh, it's been, it's been great. Um, safe in general is, is really good uh, in terms of its material, right? I mean, it's, uh, um, it's, it's website is, is, is very well laid out a uh, uh, lot of, a uh, lot of resources. The courseware is, is in general also very good. And that is a particularly uh, accurate for Scrum Master. So I really like how uh, safe has uh, uh, kind of laid out the safe Scrum Master courseware itself. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, so that helps as a trainer also as as uh, you know somebody who's taking the course you know having a, a really good well thought out well laid out uh, courseware is is definitely very helpful uh, the students have been uh, have been have been great so far um, uh, and uh, uh, one thing i i do uh, and i make sure i do is uh, encourage them to bring their own experiences and share and discuss those because uh, we've had uh, you know many times the, the the students have already been working as a scrum master uh, in in their environment for for years and they have their scenarios to uh, to discuss and to bring as relevant uh, to you know to the topic of discussion uh, i bring my own uh, experiences i've worked as scrum master for many many years uh, in in various uh, environments so that conversation uh, that helps and that makes the uh, the whole learning experience very rich. I mean, uh, and I and I and I uh, really stick to the spirit of being a facilitator more than a trainer. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the objective is to facilitate this learning experience. And one key thing of good facilitation is is to make sure everybody is is heard, right? And everybody mm -hmm. participates. So uh, uh, so that's how I go about it. And my experience so far has been has been fantastic. With Scrum Master. Great. So what I'm 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 hearing is that the the safe SSM class for you is a combination of a great content provided by Scaled Agile and adding the the your experience and participant experience and and creating a facilitated environment where experience and the content can create a, a good learning experience to the Absolutely. to the class. Now, the Scrum Master and we we have been knowing this Scrum Master role <laughs> for for quite long and scale like Scrum Alliance has their own Scrum Master program as well, and it's a Scrum yeah. role. Now, in your opinion. What is the difference between a role of a scrum master in a scrum team and the scrum master who is working in a safe scrum team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's this is this is a great question, and this comes uh, a lot. Um, and uh, uh, the way I approach it is is as following, right? Uh, so, safe is is a framework for uh, scaling your agile delivery. Um, and it is it is a layered framework, and at an essential level, it has the layer of program, uh, and and a program can include anywhere between five to twelve teams, uh, you know, around hundred or so people working together towards a common program objective. Uh, now, so you know, for 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 this to work effectively and efficiently, the key is coordination and communication. Uh, and 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 aligning and synchronizing with uh, uh, with each other and this inter-team 
synchronization and alignment and communication is is a key to success for any safe implementation and a lot of it is shouldered by a scrum master mm -hmm. right so in addition to your uh, classic agile team responsibilities because remember those are still there right the mm -hmm. teams are still working in their uh, agile framework you know doing their two week iteration or the sprints as we used to call them so the, we we still have the team level events the facilitation of those ceremonies uh, the the impediments the removal and any coaching and mentoring that's needed so scrum master still needs to be responsible for those and he or she still is even in a safe environment but on top of that uh, this inter team coordination and communication and synchronization is squarely a, a, a scrum a, a scrum master's responsibility mm -hmm. and uh, safe does provide a uh, you know program level event um, uh, you know, meetings uh, to to help this but uh, you know if i may take another minute or so it's not just about you know scrum master going to certain meeting uh, right uh, the 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 idea is and this the uh, the the spirit of this is that the scrum master must always work on helping the team to gain this continuous and constant awareness of interdependency Mm -hmm. because when you scale it's not just your team right you're working towards a larger a longer objective a, a larger mission than just your teams so that awareness to to build that in 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 the team is very important uh, so it is the scrum master's responsibility in my opinion in a safe framework to to help team get to that point where they consider and are always aware of these this dependency and they address that so so these don't become risks later on uh, mm -hmm. uh, i hope that makes sense so yeah, yeah. so those are uh, uh, that that's kind of uh, the key distinction between a team like uh, a team level scrum master in an agile, in a classic agile role but when the scrum master is operating in a safe framework okay so so what i what i get is that since in a, in a safe environment, multiple Scrum teams are expected to work together very closely. So the alignment and synchronization among these teams are quite important and Scrum Master plays a key role in bringing an awareness in the team about what is happening outside. And at the same time, maybe also helping others to know what is happening inside this team so that the complete uh, group of teams are can coordinate and align and, and chase towards a, a bigger mission vision in an effective way. And it may look like attending some of the ceremony or events like uh, Scrum of Scrum and, and some other things, yeah. but it is just not attending it. It is primarily helping them to see what is happening in my team and helping my team see what is happening in the overall program. And Scrum Master might facilitate that and, and play a critical role in, in that space. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Great. And what kind of a people you find attending this particular program because SAFE has multiple programs and many times I find this quite confusing for, for participants and they ask me which one they should take and we will explore a little bit more about, about this particular thing. But to start with, what kind of a people you see particularly in your class attending uh, this particular program? Yeah, so, so far I've seen uh, two primary categories uh, of, of uh, people attending and uh, coming for these classes. One is, um, uh, people who are, uh, you know, early in, in their journey uh, as, as, as an engineer. So they may be working uh, for a year or so as a developer or as a business analyst, or maybe have started as a junior project manager. Um, so they're, they're, they're still very new, uh, but, but they, they have started gaining certain understanding of how the software development life cycle is working, how different frameworks work, and they want to gain some, uh, some better understanding. And also they want to prepare themselves for their next opportunities, right? So mm -hmm. that's kind of uh, a, a person who is uh, uh, in a junior capacity, starting to learn uh, his or her trade, so to speak. The second category is very interesting and, and much more interesting, which is, um, uh, here's the people who are, are, are already experienced, right? They may be already working for a few years as a scrum master, uh, but now they're seeing um, their organization adopting uh, safe framework. So the, 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 
the enterprise or the organization is now about to start a journey or is on a journey uh, of transformation to uh, to the safe framework mm -hmm. so now these people even though they are experienced and they've been running their team as a scrum master for for uh, for a few years um they have uh, questions about okay what is this safe you know what is my role is it going to change what should i be doing to um kind of reinforce my skill set uh, to be uh, to be effective in this new world uh, so that's the second set of people which is mid to senior level people who've been working as a scrum master uh, but now see the world is is moving uh, uh, towards the the safe uh, framework adoption as we see in many uh, is happening in many organizations and they want to be ready they want to learn uh, what what safe framework is uh, and they want to learn the tool set that they need as a scrum master to be effective in this new framework mm -hmm. um, so those those are the kind of the two primary two categories primary of groups, people yeah. i see coming yeah, yeah. yeah so one group is someone who is exploring and they thought of that okay let me learn learn safe and scrum master role in safe probably i will get entry into a, a safe way of doing projects or 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 a, a programs or or whatever like maybe an right. it it space as well maybe not directly a safe space but they heard of it so they just jump right. into it and exactly. another yeah. another way you see is that you are finding people who are already seeing that their programs their solutioning their development group is adapting towards safe and they have been working as a scrum master but they want to get ready for working as a scrum master in a safe uh, uh, environment yeah now yeah. this is something which is happening in in a reality but if you have to suggest someone who who in your view are the target audience for safe ssm class yeah this is a this is a great question and this is a difficult one as you said because uh, for, for two reasons right because just within the safe umbrella itself there are so many certifications uh, and and there is uh, there is some overlap between between the content of this and understandably so because the the framework is common um, and then the second reason is uh, there are other uh, scrum master offerings from other um, uh, certifying bodies so the, the the it's kind of a double whammy so it makes this question more more uh, more difficult to to address but in in my view uh, in addition to these two groups so i i i totally uh, uh, understand and expect these two groups to to continue to look for a safe scrum master and it makes perfect sense uh, people who are new who want to understand uh, and and find out their place in in the safe world and people who are experienced but uh, haven't worked in safe environment but they see their teams their organizations moving towards the safe uh, uh, framework right uh, the, uh, there are a few other categories which i think would benefit from uh, scrum master um, and and one such category uh, i see is uh, the project there are still uh, uh, a lot of professionals uh, that are operating in, still in this classic uh, world um, which are uh, you know program managers portfolio managers project managers in uh, in in sort of uh, your, your traditional uh, environment uh, who do see um, you know some of their teams uh, you know working as an agile but since they are program managers they never really um uh you know have had an opportunity to understand the agile environment so i think for them uh, it would it would be really beneficial to know okay what is it uh, that uh, that that uh, that the teams do uh, uh, in an agile framework and especially since you're a large organization in this safe framework so the third category i'm uh, trying to point to is this uh, traditional project program portfolio managers mm -hmm. who have probably not worked uh, uh, in an agile environment but who have always stayed at a program and portfolio level for them to gain a closer understanding of their individual teams who do who they do interact but not necessarily in 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 an any agile uh, environment right and then the uh, last category i would say is a uh, uh, you know leaders and and management because i see that many organizations who are starting their uh, uh <clears throat> agile journey 
uh, especially the the scale agile journey um, they do not necessarily have a, a good understanding about the framework itself and i'm going to kind of flip this question to you saket because mm-hmm. i know mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know uh, your input would be would be uh, more nuanced and more holistic on this um, uh, but yeah. the fourth category i'm i'm pointing to is is um, is uh, this kind of you know set of leaders or decision makers who want to understand what the scaled environment is uh and since scrum master is such a critical part of scaling right uh if you ask me uh whose role gets scaled when you scale agile mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that one role is scrum master mm-hmm. so scaling agile if i have to pick one role which is scaled it's the scrum master's role think about mm-hmm. it right and mm-hmm. uh, i know I, i i get uh, kind of passionate about this but if uh, you know to to just indulge a bit in yeah. in a whimsical analogy uh, you know take a rubik cube for example right it's made up of nine simple single cubes now as a crude analogy if your single individual cube is an agile team and if you're trying to scale it mm-hmm. and make it a big uh, one cube you know and if that's your that's your program and if anybody you know who ha- who uh, is is curious or who has a curious kid <laughs> and mm-hmm. who has actually dissembled the the rubik cube who has opened it and look what that individual cube is right mm-hmm. it's not just a cube it has uh, uh, a, an adapter or 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 an interface to connect and attach with each other right mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. then it makes it possible to work as a big cube mm-hmm. 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 and that and, and that interface that extension is the scrum master's extension mm-hmm. it is it is scrum master who makes it possible to 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 make a, a larger rubik cube from the small rubik cube and to understand this one needs to kind of you know dive deeper into the scrum master uh, safe scrum master okay so what i'm hearing is that uh, in in out of your four categories or four types of things one is that people who are exploring and seeing the possibility of what they can do in safe and they can definitely explore the doing a scrum master thing uh, another one is that one who are about to get started as a scrum master in safe and that seems to be a very logical uh, uh, group and then third and fourth we are talking about is a project managers who might be just uh, integrating into safe environment but they may not be sure what what kind of a role they will play in safe so better they also understand the, the safe scrum master yes. role well along with understanding safe and the thir- the fourth you are saying is that since the leadership needs to have a better visibility of a scrum master role they may also get a lot of benefit by attending this program because they get an insight what probably a, a scrum master in in safe uh, will do and i really liked your uh, point which which where you are mentioning that if we just look at a very granular level the scrum team so if the scrum team moves to a safe based scrum team more or less the development team member yeah they start interacting with more but ultimately it's still a team backlog and they are working on it right. program product owner still a, a, a backlog prioritizing taking feedbacks and working on it where a scrum master has a little extension like a kind of a extension of a role it's so it's, it's just not like that that handling and working with a one uh, scrum team you are also a representative to a bigger team which is strongly right. and and coming together and taking the whole journey forward and yeah. and that is something i can sense that you are believe that since scrum master role is scaling significantly it may make a good uh, a case for the the stakeholders leaders managers to understand this particular understand. role well so that they can also mentor the scrum master as well along with uh, knowing what these guys are are expected to uh, do and 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 for cow right right and as as i was alluding to i'll i'll kind of flip this uh, back to you also because i know yeah, saket yeah. you you've run and you continue to run a whole gamut of uh, of yeah. uh, you know uh, deliver delivering various certifications yeah. uh, sure sure so my opinion uh, i agree with your uh, points the only difference is maybe a sequencing of things so i do believe uh, individuals who has a clarity of working as a role of a scrum master definitely should do a uh, uh, safe scrum master program because they have a clarity and they are heading towards it so category 2 no issues now the only thing is in category 3 and category 4 
the idea here is it could be their second certificate not necessarily first so the mm-hmm. idea is that if you are a manager if you are a leader uh, and you are not sure which role and how you are going to operate in a scaled environment maybe you get started with a leading safe program so that's mm. that's i usually say that okay you are a manager and leading safe in my view is an overview program i won't say it's a foundation program because it contains multiple uh, areas of safe which might yes. not be covered in many programs but in a way it's a, fo- a foundational in, in nature because it gives you a complete overview so as a manager leaders you take a complete overview and then you started zooming into a critical roles which is like okay i understand safe now and i want to understand more about the scrum master role because i see this role is going to be critical while scaling so i get into that that particular uh, thing further so that's how i mm. see for managers and leaders maybe they start with with a leading safe Event that yeah. we move into, into uh, that that yeah, that makes perfect sense, and that's that's actually how I ended up doing it. You know, mm-hmm. I, I did the leading safe, and then when when I mm-hmm. did, uh, uh, so um, uh, if 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 we can uh, uh, kind of uh, take this discussion a little further, right? Uh, and uh, if you can help us uh, understand. um because there is there is still a, a lot of confusion uh and people you know need some some guidance on this topic which is the csm versus mm-hmm. ssm right the yeah. classic uh, certified yeah. scrum master what should i do right and it's a, it's a question so i think who who better than than saket to 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 answer that right yeah yeah thank you felicity for bringing this point and and we do get this queries quite frequently that okay should we do scrum master program and should i do a safe scrum master program and i would say that what is your need and and what are you you chasing now when i say a scrum master program it might be applicable to to all the individuals where even you are not using safe so it means that you may work in a small one or two teams and and that is what you are anticipating so it's a, it's a it's a quite big market size where you just need to understand scrum so that's a good mm. starting point because you are just wanted to understand scrum but if mm. you are looking at performing a role of a scrum master or if you are exploring the role of a scrum master and you have a target in mind and you see that that particular space already there is a safe implementation and that is where i want to jump into then you have a clarity of safe you have a clarity of scrum master role because that is something you are chasing to then definitely one can directly go to a, a safe scrum master program yeah that's something i can see in many corporates when they already decide to go for safe they directly take their people to a safe scrum master program they don't necessarily mm. take a break between uh, csm but where organizations are taking time they they recommend their people that okay let's understand agile and scrum first let's do it for a while and then we will decide to do uh, uh, what do we we do so if you are very new if you are very new you don't have an idea of safe scaling and all those things maybe start with a with a scrum master if one has been there and uh, uh, then uh, safe ssm is also a good thing to 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 work with i see yeah. i see okay so i think that 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 makes sense right um and kind of a follow up to that because and i think you alluded to to this yeah, leading in your safe, earlier yeah. response you know the leading safe versus uh, safe scrum master um so uh, you know any any additional thoughts on that or if you want to elaborate further on on that sure, distinction sure sure so if i see a leading safe versus safe scrum master so uh, i i i stick to that if you are not clear what role you are going to play in this implementation and you just want to see what all is available here go with mm. the leading safe you know you want you want to see a menu first and when you decide that this is the area which is looking interesting then you pick up that area and and, and discover it in that yeah so that's my my point and, and and that's why like people who are doing a project management program management and other jobs and this is we want to get into agile and and safe and all those space what should i do mm. and and they have never worked as a scrum master before they have never worked as a product owner before formally but they are doing right. kind of job you know they are doing lot of activities which are coming under product owner they are doing a lot of activities which are coming into scrum master but they have yet to take a, a call and as well as an opportunity to come up which one will will they uh, they turn into so those kind mm. of a professionals and individuals i believe should better get started with the leading safe program because they get a visibility 
uh, and and that is how you you move into if you are working as a scrum master and and you don't have yet have a complete exposure of how the complete organization work and you are primarily focusing on team leadership kind of a role then leading mm. safe could be a complicated for you also so if if mm. that, that's like you know uh, many time if if i find a team member kind of people are uh, thinking of doing leading safe because someone has told them they may also get lost after 50% of the class because the portfolio and other things uh, sometimes becomes very difficult to 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 appreciate so uh, right. if you are in the business uh, in in a software development field for a while you have an exposure of how the overall thing works how the the pmo is operating how the projects get approved how overall things flow from from a requirement till till end delivery and you have this this visibility and now you are want to understand how it happens in safe so that i can find out what role i will play go for a leading safe else got it, got yeah safe scrum yeah. master is good for you yeah. got it. that that makes great sense and uh, yeah excellently explained appreciate it great uh, thank you and anything else pulasti you wanna add say like about the safe scrum master before we close the conversation any anything coming in your mind um uh, yeah just just one additional point uh, uh and uh, shouldn't shouldn't be completely uh, uh new uh, you know because i think we we discussed the scrum master for for a few minutes now uh but i want to highlight this uh even in your classic agile uh, framework right the scrum master role always had this people aspect to it uh uh so scrum master was a process uh, uh you know facilitator but it always had a people uh, uh angle to it i feel that in the safe framework it is even more important and critical right because uh you are not just working within your team uh it's um, it's it's a larger initiative so the the whole idea about facilitation about coaching about servant leadership of scrum master and being able and scrum master being able to carry out uh this is is now even more important and uh, i was very glad to see the safe uh, scrum master course where uh, you know there is a good focus on on this part uh, the the attributes of scrum master and we spend a good amount of time discussing why it is important for a scrum master to be a good facilitator to be uh, you know a good coach what does even what does it even mean to be a good coach and to be a, a servant leader because these things are now very important when we operate in uh, in in a scaled environment when we operate with 100 other people uh, and just wanted to bring that point uh, oh, no i i appreciate and i i can really see that importance because the more the communication channel the more the conflicts and more the emotional stability is needed and and there is a more transparency in the communication effective communication so that people get your intent in a one go yeah. because one wrong intent like one wrong in, wrong interpretation can create a good amount of confusion for many teams so yeah. one has to be very very uh, uh, like growing their skills in in that space interaction yeah. management communication management working with people managing conflicts yeah. and all right 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 absolutely right. Yeah. thank you it was nice talking to you and and no, we thanks for talk this about something again <laughs> yeah absolutely sir yeah thank you so much and uh, yeah have have a good rest of the day thank you bye